Hi, Ilaria. My name is Ellen, and I'll be correcting these essays for you today. Uh, let's take a look and see what you wrote in this first set. The first one is about schools and if they should be more entertaining. Let's see what you said. While some commentators think that education should provide more entertainment for students, S, here, other thinkers believe that teaching must be the only intention for schools. In my opinion, Despite there are plenty of research showing that modern teaching methods are effective and useful, I agree with the latter viewpoint. Okay, um, I really like your first sentence. That was fine. You just needed an S here. Here you have a problem with grammar. Uh, we don't use despite like this. Despite is a word that can be followed only by three things. We can say despite plus ing. We can say despite plus the fact that, and then have a, a clause, or we can say despite plus noun. So you can't say despite there are. What you could have said here, and what would have worked even better, is the word although. So let's look at that and see what other changes the sentence needs. In my opinion, although there is plenty of research, this is because research is uncountable. Although there is plenty of research showing that modern teaching methods are effective and useful, I agree with the latter viewpoint. Okay, um, now here it's, it's okay. Um, I do feel like there is a little bit of a distance from the word latter and latter viewpoint with the sentence. So I'm not a huge fan of this. Um, it, it's okay, it's just that the reader then has to go back to that first sentence and say, okay, well, which one is a ladder viewpoint? It's that teaching should be the only intention. So it's all right, but I really want you to be okay with um, words like the former and the latter. I agree, they sound lovely in essays. They work really well when they're used appropriately. Here, I think you might have been able to paraphrased, maybe use a different expression. So why don't we try something different? Something like, um, let's see, although there is plenty of research showing that modern teaching methods are effective and useful, I um, agree that schools should be academic, academically focused only. Okay, so you're also using some nice vocabulary, also using some good grammar. So try that instead. Like I said, the latter and the former are kind of overused by IELTS students and unfortunately often they're used incorrectly. So that's what I want you to um, fix in terms of grammar and vocabulary. The content was okay. Now look what you did here. I see that you keep hitting enter. You hit enter here, you hit enter here. Maybe it's just a program you're using, I don't know. Um, but you don't wanna do this. Um, You've done a good job here of creating a space between each paragraph so that I know where the paragraphs begin and the end, but this is rather confusing. You see, each paragraph should just be one block of text. There shouldn't be like an enter somewhere. Like I said, maybe it's just how um, it came out in the program you used, but it should be clear that sentences, especially in the same paragraph, continue to the end of the line. Okay, I don't know if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, this is the right thing to do. Leave um, an entire line between each paragraph. All right, let's go on uh, to your body paragraphs and see what you wrote. The reason why some people think that educational institutions must be more entertaining is twofold. Firstly, making the hanging process more easygoing creates an environment less stressful and overwhelming for students, which can promote a better learning. All right. So, again, the same thing happened with your enter. Uh, this was okay, but I want to talk about it a little bit. I don't know what you mean by the hanging process. Um, and then we don't say a better learning. We just say can promote better learning. Okay? Secondly, entertainment can be seen as a vehicle to hold the attention and interest of a classroom. For example, comma, in 2005, the UK government introduced the use of of interactive whiteboards both in primary and secondary school. By combining classroom response with an interactive system, teachers can explain lessons and receive feedback from students in order to direct instructions more effectively. 
Moreover, according to the findings of a study conducted by the London Institute of Education, the use of multimedia, without the L, teaching leads to, to again, no A here, to greater attention and interactivity of the pupils during the lessons. Therefore, making, all right, you can't use, um, ah, okay, fine. Therefore, making the learning, that's awkward here, the learning step, making learning more pleasant could benefit children's acquisition. Okay, that's some nice vocabulary there, children's acquisition. Uh, okay, so we changed some minor grammatical things. On the whole, I thought it was okay, but I do want to talk to you about some other things that I find really important here. First of all, uh, the thing that's really important in this paragraph is task achievement. There were two problems with your task achievement here, and let me tell you what they were. Number one, um, you are supposed to be talking about entertainment. Now, this is really interesting because this is how um, the people at IELTS are essentially checking your vocabulary. What does entertainment mean? Well, it means lighthearted amusement, fun, joyful kind of um, uh, interaction, something funny. So if you think about uh, television shows or movies that are entertaining, what are they? are they? They're usually funny. They're usually kind of, you know, grabbing your attention in, a, in an amusing kind of way. All right. So they're, in essence, checking to see that you understand what entertainment means. Now, what you talked about here was interactive learning. All right. You talked about using multimedia. You talked about interactive systems. So while those are newer methods of education and they are interactive and engaging, my question to you is, are they entertaining? Do they make people laugh? Do they promote a feeling of fun? Okay. Um, now, if you can prove those things, then yes, this is okay. But the way it's written here, you're really not talking about entertainment. All right. So I really want you to be aware of this because it's pretty important. They're checking to make sure that you understand what entertainment is. And this doesn't really focus on entertainment in the classroom. Now, the second thing that I was concerned about was the way you developed this paragraph. Well, not necessarily the way you developed it, but basically how you started it. Let me show you what I mean. You told us here the reason why some people think that educational institutions must be more entertaining is twofold. The essay doesn't want to know what some people think. They want to know only what you think. How do you know that? Because it says here, which do you agree with? So talking about what some people believe is irrelevant. And that is also going to affect your task achievement. Okay? Um, so it's an easy fix because what I was concerned about earlier was... Um, if you, you said you agree, uh, I was concerned that maybe you only said that you agreed. I looked back at this, and this is fine because you've got this concession here, and that's perfect. So since you used this concession here, you said despite the fact that there is plenty of research, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, so that's fine. So then it makes sense for you to have a paragraph talking about the value of this modern teaching, but... Um, you have to frame it appropriately. You essentially not you essentially don't need to say why some people think it, but you only needed to say the reason why educational institutions must be more entertaining is twofold. All right. In other words, present it as your own opinion and not the opinion of other people. Okay. So that's the way to fix this, and then you're fine. Okay. Again, though. Uh, the problem with your um, your kind of understanding of the word entertainment is is also um, pretty important, and so you need to work on that. Let's move on to your next paragraph. However, if watching attractive videos and reading ebooks during the classroom can attack attract the attention of these students, at the same time, it could represent a distraction, diverting the attention from the main purpose of school, teaching. That's a great 
sentence. That's wonderful. I really like it. You know what? Look at this. Attractive videos and reading ebooks. Now, maybe if you had talked about some of those things, then the previous paragraph would have been more on, to uh, on topic, talking about how these things are entertaining. All right. That's what you need to prove to us. So uh, you got it right here. That was great. But you needed to incorporate that in the previous paragraph to make sure that it's on topic. And that's, a, in general, a, a terrific sentence. Uh, especially old generations of professors. Mm, this is awkward. You could have said professors, especially those from older generations, comma, have an idea of education. Mm. All right, this is, I feel like this is maybe informed from another language you speak. The grammar is a little off here. Let's say. Um, you could have said this, in particular, comma, old genera mm, older generations of professors have an idea of education that is more conventional, which includes the teacher communicating the knowledge and the students sitting, ing, in silence, doing homework with no apostrophe s, and memorizing, ing, the given chapters at home. These methods do not clearly allow for entertainment. Okay. Um, now, this paragraph for me actually felt a little underdeveloped. Supposedly, this is the one that you support. You think that um, this is the right way to educate. But look at this, you had a ton more development in this paragraph. I felt like it was much more developed. You had a lot more information. Here, you really only had like two sentences. Look, well, three sentences. So it was definitely too short. Even just looking at the length of it, you can tell that you needed to say a lot more here. And I think there was more to say, especially since you said that this was what you supported. You needed to say not just of the... You, you needed to talk not just about the old professors, but also that, you know, it is true that st students perform better in standardized tests when they have this type of education, that uh, students need the skills to concentrate and to focus sometimes on things that are not really exciting in order to get ahead in exams and in university and so forth. Okay, so... Students cannot be expected to be entertained in order to do well in school and eventually in life. So these are some of the things that you probably should have talked about. I mean, they're just examples, of course. You don't have to use those ideas. But there are some examples of what you could have talked about, but it definitely needed to be more developed. It's a little too short, a little underdeveloped, and you're not really expressing why you think that this is the right way to educate. So, to conclude, I firmly agree that pedagogy should be the main aim of the educational system. However, in a technology-driven society, entertainment, without industry, will be increasingly present among the school desks in years to come. Okay, that's fine. So, I see here that you wrote your word count. I think that's fine in terms of uh, a number of words. So, essentially what I would like you to do is maybe take away some of this and definitely add to some of that second paragraph, okay? Um, so, it's a nice first attempt. I definitely see some good things in your writing. I want to go on to your uh, second task one, uh, second task two. So, let's see what you wrote. Teaching children everyday skills and developing their creativity can be very challenging for every educator. Some believe that having fun while learning can benefit more than the classic reading, classical reading routine, whilst other people think that the reverse is true. I partially agree with this idea because I think that both the approaches are required for a fully childhood development. Okay, now, um, this was fine... We'll talk about it in a minute. This idea is unclear because the previous par sentence didn't have one idea. It had two ideas. So it's not clear to us which idea you support. Okay? It becomes a little clearer here when you say both approaches are required. Um, but still, this should have been clear. 
I partially agree with both ideas because I think both are required for full childhood development. That would have made more sense. Um, let's see. Now, the other thing that I want to mention here is that this isn't really about school. This is about, it doesn't really say it, but it's kind of implied that this is like children in their free time and not entirely during the school day. Um, it's not entirely clear, but it, it is kind of implied that this is what is meant. So that's something also to keep in mind. Let's see what you wrote. On the one hand, there is ample evidence that through play, not the playing, through play, children can develop social cognitive abilities, mature emotionally, and gain self-confidence necessary to engage in new experiences and environments. The central reason is because it includes, includes being actively involved in their learning. Psychologists argue that the more emotionally charged an experience is, the better it is remembered. Nice grammar, good. This principle plays a crucial role when it comes to children's growth. For example, scouting activities such as camping, woodcraft, first aid, and sports in general are designed to instill character, personal fitness, and leadership in boys and girls. Therefore, learning by doing, no, learning by doing a fun activity allows young people to better understand the world around them and improve their creativity. Okay. Yeah, good. That's fine. That was nice. Uh, let's move on. On the other hand, although the multiple benefits of, mm, I don't like this word hilarious, it definitely feels um, incorrect. Uh, you're looking for another word uh, instead of enjoyable, and that's fine, but maybe engaging would have been a good word. Even something as simple as fun would have been go good. So on the other hand, although the multiple, mm, now check this out. Before we talked about the misuse of the word despite. Uh, now here, although is wrong, and here you need despite. Do you remember what I told you about despite? You can follow it with a noun. Well, that's essentially what you have here. The multiple benefits of activities uh, is essentially one noun. So um, you could have used despite here. You can't use although because although needs a subject and a verb. So first of all, let's replace hilarious with fun. You could have said, although the multiple benefits of fun activities are important. So that would be okay. You've got a subject and then you've got a verb. Are important, that's fine. Um, but since you didn't write that, what you could have done here instead was use despite. So. On the other hand, despite the multiple benefits of fun activities, the role of reading in children's, here you need apostrophe S, development cannot be overstated. This is because mm, it not only feeds imagination and curiosity, but it also helps develop communication and language skills. Research, it's uncountable, remember by the UK Department for Education reported that those children who read on a daily basis are the ones who are most likely to perform better at school and fulfill their ambition later in life. Therefore, comma, reading is one of the best, biggest factors for a child to develop as a person and succeed inside and outside in educational institutions. Oh. Okay, uh, yes, what are the skills? I just want to make sure you've talked about skills. Let's see, you said it develops communication language skills. Fine, um, yes, that's, that's fine. I'm fine with this. So to conclude, both doing practical activities and reading are necessary for all around, hmm, let's see how to fix this, uh, are necessary for all around children's growth all or how about this are necessary for a well-rounded child's growth i like that even better moreover i believe that they are complementary and one is not more valuable than the other okay fine so ilaria this is good um 
you definitely are on the right track. So your start in the program is, is good, it's strong. There are great elements to your writing. I see some good grammar, some good vocabulary, some definitely strong elements in your writing. What we need to do um, throughout the course is just make sure you're improving and kind of um, getting through these any little weaknesses that are there, grammar, vocabulary, task achievement, things like that. Um, but you're starting off uh, well, okay? So good job. The next thing that I want you to do is correct these essays based on the suggestions in this video. Return the corrected essays back to us. Along with those corrected essays, please send an error correction list. So write down the mistakes that you learned about and the correct version next to them. Also, the third thing you're going to send with those other two are your new essays, okay? So go ahead, get started with that. We'll meet back here with that next set of essays. I'm looking forward to it. So good luck to you.